lot too much weight. And he put the weight back on. Remember, there was all the talk of when he had to make 168 pounds at a venture. Ramirez Capenzi. We're sitting here with one of the greatest light heavyweights to ever fight. What do you read into the fact that now he is 196 unofficially stepping into the ring? Well, first and foremost, that just... I remember Capenzi, man, when he beat Chad Dawson. Beyond that, it just shows me how much he damaged his body. He actually gave Alexander Gvostik a... 168 all these years. And that's a tough fight, you know. 175 pounds is where he needs to live. As long as it lasted. Ramirez, man, he's, he's somewhat underwhelming, man. Observer Ramirez, obviously, you know? light heavyweight division. I don't know, something about him. With talent and big, attractive fights that'll read well on the marquee. However, there has been talk even this week. Doesn't really have that Mexican style, you know. Come forward, aggressive. You know what I mean? Middleweight belt. Not the most powerful guy. And fight Smith. I, I think he it. needs to leave it alone. All money's yeah. not good money. There's a lot of money up here at 175 pounds. Right. This is one of the hottest divisions in boxing right Work now. Work rate, though, you know what I mean? Kind of busy. In this division. And right now, he needs to focus on what's opposite him, and that is Tommy Carpensi. Carpensi, we know at his very best. Then again, you know how many. Of doing some things. Just add Chad, ask Chad Super Dawson. middleweight. When the upset happened in October light heavyweight. Mexicans are out there, you know what I mean? Actually standing there with Doing Ramirez, that thing. Letting them know right away that hey, I'm not scared of you. I, I don't feel like you already power cut or something. In his weight class, that I'm the bigger man here. I've been here a lot longer than you have. Yeah, man. And so I want him to see. The, he tests the chin right there with his That's nice what I mean about Capensi, man. Capensi. Right he's a sharpshooter. He can punch a little bit too. The thing about Carpensi is he's fought the who's who of the light heavyweight division throughout the years. Yep, got and knocked out by Donald Stevenson also. Fights. In fact, he rarely wins those fights. Yep. He's going to give you a fight <laughs> until he can't <laughs> fight anymore. Exactly. See, little check right hook by Carpensi. He did score a knockdown against Alex Vostick. Went on to lose in TKO fashion in the sixth round. See, getting hurt though. The That's Olympia the thing about Carpensi, man. In Philadelphia. And Ramirez is going to be able to land that straight left hand. He, he just land on the top of Carpensi. When I mean sharpshooter, you know, Carpensi throws good punches, man. Foot, so he's not necessarily a slick guy or a guy that can pick you off from the outside, necessarily. I've seen him, like, right up. throw slick punches Ramirez. in there, you know, in his fight. Gets involved maybe a little too much and uh, busted up. Who knows, man? Capenzi is probably also another guy that gets like extremely sufficient notice, you know, in this fight. He's an opponent. Nosebleed, not cut though. He came off the uppercut, brought the hands home. There you go. He came around the guard of Carpenzi to land. The nice body shot. And here's a straight left hand. You see where Carpensi's leaning. He's leaning towards his back foot, setting himself in the line of fire for Ramirez's straight left hand. Ramirez landed 17 of 67 punches thrown in that first round. So he is right on his normal pace. And he just put another right hand to the body of Carpensi. Rob, work out of there, guys. Work out. You know, Ramirez Stop. investing in the body. That's one way to slow down a bigger, a bigger man, and that's what I like about Ramirez. You know, he has a lot of dimensions to his game. You might not see something that really stands Ooh. out about him, but he does a lot of things very, very well. He can box on the outside. He can tack and come in the inside. He goes down to the body well. You see there, he lands a great uppercut up the middle and split the guard of Carpensi. Yo, Ramirez looks to throw with more velocity. Comes back and applies a little bit of pressure. Put a little bit more mustard on, on his punches. Gets that position, though, doesn't he? Just shouldering yeah. Zerto. Yeah, he's kind of smothering himself. Uh, maybe he's looking for a resting opportunity. Carpensi ah, cannot keep up with the work rate of mm -hmm. Ramirez, but he's sneaky. He will throw. He takes punishment well. I know that's not a good thing to say, but he can take it, and he can also dish it out. He's got a sneaky right hook, and he'll throw that straight left, too, if Ramirez isn't careful. You know, I really like what Zerto is doing, aiming at that belt line, and there's a good, stiff southpaw jab, and then comes back with the uppercut, tried to turn it over. 
Manzano look really sharp right now. You know, landing shots to the body. I've seen a roller underneath the punch. He's not getting hit, you know, standing still. Like I normally seen him in his, in his previous fights where he would punch, sit still, and get hit with a counter shot. But early in this fight, Ramirez has to stay disciplined. He can't get too greedy yes. with his offense because that will happen. That opened up Ooh. that time, and Carpensi came straight in and filled that gap. Carpensi will take the punishment just to look for the one shot. One shot. Weather the storm. Left uppercut splits the guard again from Zerto. He's a free. Work out of there. Pull your hands up. Ramirez looks say, good, though. Work free. He wasn't doing that as he tied up with the right hand. It was a good job. Carpensi leaning down towards his back foot. I'm looking for the uppercut, the lead uppercut of Ramirez. He, he has to be careful not to throw Ooh. me too far away. Carpensi's landing on straight left. His best oh. is the, not a check right hook, but it's a right hook. But he's not even landing that. He's landing the straight left on the chin of Ramirez right now. Nice little rhythm, man. Very good start for Zerto Ramirez. Yeah, man, he has a very good work rate and very deceptive, man, the way he throws combinations. Throws either hand individually, like doubles up, triples up, throws feints in there, all that. Looking really good, man. Here's a straight left from Ramirez here. You see him, he fakes with the left. But he comes back with another left and then comes back with a straight left down the middle. Actually, he fakes yeah, but right Capenzi, man, he trains with then his brothers, you know? With more combinations. His sparring partners are his brothers. Who is the new trainer. Remember, he split with his Zapari family. Hector Zapari was his old trainer. Julian was a longtime assistant to Freddie Roach at the Wild Card Gym. He's a young trainer. Today's his birthday. He turns 28. And he is very excited about the prospect of working Ramirez with Ramirez is sneaky, Look at the body man. shots landed so far. We were talking about the work that Ramirez for Zerto Ramirez. Ooh. Yeah, that's how you definitely slow down a guy. You know, Carpensi, you know, he's, he's very clever, very slick. He's looking for one shot. He's looking to get lucky with the right hook. On Ramirez. And speaking of body shots, Carpenti's been stopped by body shots yes. by Vozdik, a fighter we just saw a couple weeks ago. It was really his broken nose, man. That sneaky right hook I was telling I guess his right nose is a problem, man. I think that happened in the Vozdik fight also. kind of fell in looking for a shot. Dropped this left hand and was hit with the right hook from Carpenti. Bigger, thicker version. Of Zerto Ramirez as we bring in our ringside reporter Christina Poncher. How would you assess his performance so far? He's doing great. He's doing great. You know, he's working behind his job like we worked on, and um, I think he could do a little bit better about controlling the distance. Sometimes he gets a little flat, but um, I don't know. He's doing. He's doing great uh, for the most part. Uh, not forgetting about his defense and exchanges and fainting with both hands. Uh, I like what I see. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Christina. Julian Shua. For the layman out there, he talks about control. Get a room. Yeah. Gets Will a you? little flat. Gets <laughs> a little flat. Well, controlling the distance is very important. He wants him to use his height and reach advantage, you know, in this weight class. And he's doing it well right now, but being flat, being flat footed, standing mm -hmm. right in front of him, you know, he wants to move a little bit more. Man, are trainers ever satisfied? I don't know if they are. I mean, you can be dominating, and it's like, yeah, you're doing good, but. Well, well maybe the trainer because all they tell him is keep doing what you're doing <laughs> those body shots <laughs> man but when you're that good i guess that's all they gotta tell him good body shot right there for my pencil and just closing that gap and leading off and scoring was ramirez Yo, Pensi would be a good fighter ramirez man is finding home for the nice stiff jab on Carpensi, Somewhat underprepared, under condition, you know. leading with body shots, breaking him down. He is in control here. 
as we come to the end of round number three. Good outing so far as a light Even the punches he gets it, but you know, it's not flush. Check in with Max and Mark. Gentlemen, take it away. Thurno Ramirez is the guy moving up in weight. I'll get off of it. No matter what Ramirez does in this fight, the media, fans, they're going to compare his performances to the other champions yes. that, you know, Carpinci has fought. That's just the way the game goes. But this is the perfect barometer and the perfect test for Ramirez at this weight class. You know, I know so this fight is a light heavyweight, I guess. Uh, yeah, Ramirez, he gave up his title, right? Of course. You know, um, six to one and Joe Saunders is now fighting for it. There's another guy that Top Rank has, and he's the lineal champion in this division, or had the ring belt, and that's Bulls Dick we saw a couple of weeks ago. Potential matchup in the near future. That would be a pretty decent fight, man. I was in the corner Amidas of Jim and Bozdik. His father, Carpenzi Sr., says, I need him to work Actually, in they're kind of similar. Stay out of Zerto's range. You know? I'd like to see, see that him. shit? Bozdik does that shit. Ends with jabs. I guess uh, the only difference is Southpaw and Orthodox. Pretty easy to score the early goings here of this fight. Amidas loads up more. Andre has it three rounds to zip. Yeah, Doesn't work in fighting there from Carpensi for a second. His blood is uh, just on the bridge of the nose of Tommy. The thing with Ramirez, he will be doing that if the you don't check him, over, you know. I see Ramirez, you Jesse know, Hart checked him a times, you know. You know, with every shot, gave him trouble a little bit with the uh, body into the head. And it's just, you know, it's a ten round fight, so it's a matter of time, I think. If he don't you gotta do that, man. Says, you gotta do that. Like that. Before Carpenzi would just, you know, hang it up. Yeah, that's the challenge for mm -hmm. Ramirez. Like, obviously, Carpenzi is not gonna be able to hang with Ramirez offensively. I said that earlier. Yeah. But can Ramirez stay focused and Ramirez hit, just gotta hit by a sneak shot mm -hmm. from keep this up, because keep this pace up. You know, maybe he wants even to land a big shot and get lucky. Dre, you up offered it. up the idea that everybody will compare and, uh, to who else he's been Carpenzi in will against go, what those will take in the were. Bozdik got rid of him in six, but he I'll take his beating and put in this corner. Got rid of Carpenzi in three. Andrew Fonfara got rid of him in seven, and we know that he obviously pulled the upset against Chad Dawson. That was a split decision. Just got to touch this ten. dude, man. See? And I like what I'm seeing. I'm seeing angles from Ramirez. You know, putting his punches in combinations. He was always good at that, but the responsibility, the defense, got to keep touching him. Is what I like. Every now and then, he's getting his throwing punches from the wrong distance. Attempting his last I effort here. He's getting caught right now. Yeah, he's getting caught right now by Carpenzi. Carpenzi just can't keep it up. He doesn't have the conditioning to keep it up. Yeah. I think you work this fight is going to stop now, man. George Armani. Continue, and he chooses not to. As Tommy Carpenzi has taken enough, absorbing 83 punches from Ramirez. And at the end of four, he quits on the stool. Look at his He's face. He's an opponent, batter. man. Meanwhile, I think the body shots also did substantial damage. Absolutely. I knew it was a matter of time. I just yeah, man, Ramirez, man, good new addition up. to the light heavyweight Our division. Has you know? a full -time job. I want to see him. I want to see him. That's it, man. It is going to be. Is Bibble now at 168? And a TK win now is a light heavyweight for Gilberto Ramirez, who moves I guess, who did he fight last? Joel Smith? That's a light heavyweight, right? Knockouts. Yeah, man. Ramirez. On his way. You to the second weight class. Round, Tim. You said, I know the fight isn't over right. yet, but... Yeah, man. But what I was stating was... Not easy... Target, you know, Ramirez beatable though. He took everything away from him. You know, he was pouring on the combinations, he was digging right. down to the body.